Now let's talk about how we're gonna style our application. So if you go back, like uh, in size right here, you're gonna see we have these two files, which is globals and then home.modio.css. So a normal CSS file, you are used to it, but there are other different type of CSS styles, which called models, and I'm gonna explain both of them. So if you go back to pages and then go back to our index, for example, let me open that in the browser. Let me go back to home. Okay, so we have the welcome right here. We can actually go and change something in the size. So I can go to globals, for example, and select the each one. Let me zoom in a bit so you can see it. So let me remove everything and just have the each one right here. So we can make like, for example, the color red. Okay, so that's a way to style it as in the globals and you can have all the styles right here. So if you go back, you can see the difference right here. But this is actually, if you are write all the styles in one file, that's gonna be too much, especially for a large build that we have right here. So there are another, so there are another thing like to you know split things up into a bit of models. And models are very, very cool. So I'm gonna show you how they work. So let me remove everything from here. So if you go back to index, you see, we have something right here that we imported the style from size, which is our folder, and then we imported the file home.module.css. So we imported this as an object and not directly as CSS. And every class name that we have in the home, for example, like let's call it .red, which simply gonna make the color red. So we simply can access it from the styles that we got from that file. So for example, I can go right here and add class name, and this is gonna be styles and we can access any class name that we have there. For example, red. So I can take that and add it right here. Even if we remove the each one from here now, and we can go and see it, size that's red, go back and it's gonna be there. So this is the, the, the other way to do things, which is actually what we're gonna do, which is gonna be mixed with SAS. Don't worry if you don't know SAS, it's gonna be very, very easy. It's just a preprocessor for uh, for CSS, which makes CSS more easier to, you know, to work with. And it's gonna give us some, you know, like uh, how to work with variables and some calculating functions that we will use throughout the course. So as you see right now, this is actually very cool. The things about mod is also is that it's only work in this, you know, the area that we uh, imported this in, okay? So for example, you can go and have another file and call the class name dot red and it doesn't affect it, okay? This red dot red is only available in the scope imported in from that file exactly, which makes it easier that you don't have to think about names, okay? So you can just have any name right here. And then in another file, you can have the same name. So like container, wrapper, and the, the type of views like Titan or the other stuff, you can have the same name, but it's only affixed in the file that it's been imported to, which is actually very, very nice. So let me install now says, we can go control G, let me open another terminal and we're gonna so go yarn, add, if you use NP, uh, npm, you're gonna go npm i or npm install, and then it's gonna be sass. And then we're gonna install it this way, okay? And it's gonna be very simple, just installation now. We're gonna do a very example, uh, simple example, and then we're gonna explain things later, and I'm gonna show you how to work with. So now we can go back to our index. Let me see where import it. Not here in the underscore app, okay? Which is the starting point of our application so we imported the globals.css okay we can actually for example make it globals.css and work with an ecss file which is says but what i want to do is i want to work with models okay and says at the same time because in a large application i don't want to worry about naming my classes and all the other stuff so simply i can go to the home.model and i'm going to change it for example .scss and then enter Okay, and then I'm gonna go back to here and change the name of it also right here, like that. Let me save that and go back to the home right here. I don't know why it's loading. My PC feeling very slow. Okay, so now it's changed. And we go back right here and you refresh and things still the same. So we change it to SAS, which is actually very similar to CSS, don't worry. So we can actually like change the color to blue, for example and it's still gonna work without any problems, okay? We're gonna do like a, in the next video, we're gonna do like a file that's gonna be used to receive our size so we can have like a unified topology of our CSS and make it easier for us and do some bit of, you know, basic sun and you're gonna love that, okay? So this is easy, we just installed SAS, explained some of the CSS and how it works in Next.js and the next video, we actually gonna code some SAS and then you're gonna see how it actually works.